He is facing the likelihood of real criminal charges from the federal government and from at least a couple of states. Real criminal charges that could land him in real prison. Please, please, please. So Donald Trump really needs a good criminal lawyer right now. Several, in fact. And that will be a problem for him. If you are a longtime fan of habeas humor, then you remember this topic coming up previously. And you know already that Donald Trump has a troubled history with his lawyers. For one thing, he pretty much never pays them. That fact is pretty well known, actually, since it was in the news last week when Trump predictably announced that he was refusing to pay for Rudy Giuliani's legal work. And not for any reason that makes any actual sense. Trump, as usual, just made up some ridiculous bullshit. You fired Rudy. Your lawyering is no good. And I'm not paying your bills. And it's, it's because you're no good. It's definitely not because I'm a con man whose veneer of wealth is a total sham and I'm broke. So there's that, the not paying. And lawyers really do like to get paid. Trust me, they virtually insist on it. Unless the work is pro bono, and if you look up the English translation of pro bono, you will see why it could never apply to Donald Trump. Donald Trump is no bono. In fact, I think Stormy Daniels pretty much said that as well, confirmed that about him. JK. But seriously though, Donald Trump is notoriously bad at receiving advice from people who might know better about things. That makes it tough for a lawyer to have a productive attorney-client relationship with him and to represent him with good results. Like, for instance, when you have to keep telling your client to stop fucking tweeting to the world about all the details of the case. At least that's not a problem anymore, eh? Hey, Donald, oh, be sure not to tweet about this case. Oh, wait, <laughs> hey, you can't. What was that? Oh, sure, honey, you go right ahead and Snapchat all you want. Mm hmm that's fine. Speaking of being the, you know, client from hell, Trump seems to have a knack for getting his lawyers into legal trouble of their own, doesn't he? I mean, maybe that isn't Trump's own fault. Maybe it's just the type of lawyer he tends to choose. They so often go astray until it leads to a very public downfall. Cohen, Manafort, Dershowitz, the list goes on. In fact, we'll talk about another one in a little bit. Spoiler, Giuliani. But my point here is the possibility of prison has to be a dissuader for a lot of potential attorneys who might consider working for Donald Trump. They weigh the pros and the cons. Hmm. Well, yeah, sure, he won't pay me, but there's the free publicity. I could become famous. Yeah, right, famous for going to jail. Just say no is my motto when it comes to working for the Trumps. Not that they've asked.